Hi guys, this is Simeon. Today we are going to get a lot of stuff ready for uh, the hay harvest. So getting machines ready and taking care of them, parking them and cleaning up. So let's go. baler and uh, last year during hay harvest towards the end this belt that's um, making this whole thing work it broke and it's really hard for this old machine to get spare parts so uh, we had to order it and we hope it's gonna come uh, tomorrow or the end of this the end of this week or next week because it's essential for us uh, last year we ended up having to do a couple loads with just loose hay and um, that wasn't so great so um, I will give you a detailed video of how this thing works and why we use it uh, and what we possibly want to change in the future we're just letting the tractor run warm right now so that the oil will come out easily and then we're gonna perform an oil change new oil filter and stuff like that on it
one thing that I love about this tractor is that everything is, you know, smaller and you, you, you use less oil and all of that and it's just a cost factor as well. Uh, the old tractor that we had was a big, um, a big Valmet or Volvo, they, they, you know, they bought that company tractor and had close to 100 horsepowers and, and just the volumes of, of fuel it used and the volumes of, um, you know, oil that you needed to change the hydraulic oil or the, the engine oil, that it was just a lot of money. Plus, you know, if something broke on that tractor, the repairs were just very, very expensive. And I personally try to do as little as possible with machines. I don't like machines. Um, I find it super stressful to, to work with machines. I'm really thankful I have my brother and my dad who are much more into that kind of stuff and know much more about it. And, uh, you know, that, that's also a really important thing on the farm, that different people are good at different things. And they enjoy doing different things more not that we enjoy you know working with uh, yucky oil but uh, you know for me I'd rather empty a stable of manure than than doing an oil change pretty much but you know it needs to be done and it feels good to actually be able to take care of your machines so right before the hay harvest we like to to go through a lot of stuff this is the second oil change that we perform on this tractor. Before then it was new and we had to bring it to the workshop because of warranty. My dad has done this once before, but for me and my brother this will be uh, first time on this machine. So we'll have to check out a few details here first. All capacity with filter 2.6 liters, so it's very, very little um, that we have to put in there. We're also wanting to clean the air filter and everything um, because we have to and because hay harvest is always a very dusty business. Okay, so now we will let the engine run for a few seconds, so the oil will go everywhere through the filter, and then I'll measure the oil level and uh, see if we are right or not.
gonna let the oil settle for a moment. We forgot to buy transmission oil for this machine. Uh, it's time for that to be changed. It's all connected with the hydraulics and everything. Uh, it's over 20 liters of oil, but uh, we'll have to do that after the hay harvest. Uh, right now, we're still replacing that on the Deutz tractor. So, yeah, otherwise, put some fat on all the spots and, and change the oil. The tractor's ready, air filters cleaned out. Um, we'll have to check on the baler and that's gonna be another video where I'll talk about um, just why we have that baler, what we've had before and so on and so on. Um, kind of some important stuff there I believe. So thanks for watching kind of have to just go along with making videos that are just part of the everyday work here right now and hope you guys enjoy that so see you very soon